Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Nick Neck Twin, and I've got a good tiki haul for you, and I can't wait to show you a little bit of thrift mixing and artwork. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. So, um, if I feel a little sick, it's just because I've had allergies and stuffy nose, and ugh, I lost my voice. And as a music teacher, it was horrible. Um, it was all lost all week, so... Anyways, you can hear me. I think I'm going to start from left to right. And these are my only thrift finds this past week or two. This was at a Goodwill for $2.50. And I love highball glasses, and I think that's a hibiscus. But yeah, I thought a cute little cocktail would be in there. They had another one, but it had some, like, nicks on it. or I mean, it had, like, graphic stuff not working i don't know what i just said um this was kyle library thrift urban decay is a makeup brand and i didn't see any mugs of theirs and i don't know promotional stuff does well 75 cents makeup stuff goes well i don't know i think i can list this for 30 maybe hope for 20 at least the only other thing i found at kyle library thrift was this and first i was like oh man I, i'm really drawn to it it was only three dollars it's real by that i mean it's painted it says seven out of 73 jtp if anyone knows that artist let me know but it was with a bunch of other like not homemade art but notice it's not framed i wonder why he made 73 to me it kind of looks like a it's like ukraine colors it's also looks like a modem or a rolled up blanket or a paper clip but it's kind of trippy and they probably made a little stencil if they made 73 of these it's not in perfect condition, but it does have a hanger on it. So even if it's not a famous artist, I think it'll look... At first, I wasn't going to put it in my house, but I was like, no, I just really like it. It felt bad. I told my friend he could ha uh, buy it from me, but he won't watch this. Um, and I told him, well, I changed my mind. He's like, that's okay. <clears throat> Anyways, you may have noticed this. I ordered from Shine or Shein. Shein. It's a clothing brand brand from China, and uh, you know I. They had a few things I was curious about, and the sizes worked pretty well, but this was like five six dollars. I want to order another one for the other hand. And I got these for like three dollars. Yeah, I know I probably shouldn't buy from them, but you know. I just like these. My friend Hayden went to Mexico and he got my friend one of these bracelets and I liked it. I'm like, oh, you didn't get me one. But he got me something else, I think. I also bought glasses from them and like a shirt. I kind of like these. Came with a case. I wasn't expecting the highest quality, but this actually works. Now the thumb is a little, it was one size fits all, but yeah, it's stretchy. I just love it. I don't know why. All right. That weekend, I also went to this place called Capriati's. And um, it's actually President Biden's uh, favorite sandwich shop. And they have a lot. They have a couple in Austin, but oh my goodness. Yes, you know, I collect menus. Sorry, I was getting hungry. These are, yeah. Oh, I got to show you Tiki Tatsuya next. It's my home, quote unquote, bar. My home city bar in Austin. And these are what my brother got. But we... I went to Tiki Tatsuya and they just refreshed their merch online and there was so much I wanted to buy online that I decided to just buy it online after I went there. We also tried ramen Tatsuya. But this is a little, little dinner menu and last time I bought a bunch of mugs, the lady gave me some, so they gave me one. It's paper, you know, they had a whole trash can outside just full of these menus, so I'm like, can I have one? They said yes. You can screenshot the menu, but I have another one of their dinners, dinner drinks from about a year ago, but I think it, you know, it's probably different. They're a very, very, they're, they're kind of expensive, but their quality and their presentation, if you haven't been to Tiki Tatsuya in Austin, it's my favorite Tiki bar. And I'm not just biased, like, I actually love it. And I'll get to you, Water Bob. But yeah, I've had their green... Cobra Kai mug 
And by the way, that's my favorite cocktail of theirs. I got it this past time. I've had the green one and they used to not sell the other colors and they didn't sell the other green, uh, they didn't sell the snake for a long time. I've had it listed on eBay, no one's bought it, but I had it list kind of high. But they brought them back into production and I saw someone list these on eBay and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're Halloween colors, I need them. They're 45 bucks each, but I think, you know, of course they'll double in value, if not triple later on down the road. But now I have three colors of Cobra Kai's, has their logo. I just love this company so much. And they also have ice cream I need to see. But I've never seen the colored version of the Daruma mug in, available. They used to sell this uh, cocktail in this colored, you know, mug. But yeah, they would only have the plain brown one for sale. So this was 30 and it's a huge drink. It serves one to two, it says, and my friend Spencer got it. But when I received it in the mail with all this stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, they forgot to color an eye. Maybe I'll get a replacement for free, designed by Ross. I don't know who you are, Ross. But I looked it up, and on the on the site, it only has one eye colored. And I'm like, okay, I didn't realize the Daruma mugs, I mean Daruma dolls, have one eye colored. And then it led me down a rabbit hole, and I learned something. So my understanding is when someone gets a Daruma doll before giving it a presentation place around the house to show it off. They think of something they want to happen in their life or a goal they want to achieve or something they desire. And then they color in one of the holes, one of the eyeballs, I mean, and the left eye is the most popular. So I thought that was interesting. I think this is a left eye unless they meant the Daruma's left eye, which is I don't know. I would consider that the left eye. Anyways, mirror. Mirrors are crazy things, reflections. Oh my goodness, I'm rambling. But once you're, then you can display it once one of the eyes is co eyes are colored. I can't talk, sorry. <clears throat> and yeah, once you're, if, if your dream comes true or your goal or desire comes achieved, you color in the other eye. So I thought that was really interesting. I learned something. All right, these were, the bandanas were normally 15. I got it for $5. I saw they had a lighter for $3. Come by, cheers. I just love that. So I don't know, it's collectible. Oh, I'm sad they have a lighter on top of the graphic. Maybe I'll try to peel that off, I don't know. And I realized they have a new barbecue restaurant nearby and I haven't been but oh my gosh I love me some ranch style beans and they have a little parody umai ranch style ramen because I went to the ramen tatsuya next uh right behind it it's so good so yeah now I can finally say I'm ramen it was just a great night and now I have great treasures this is my birthday month y'all I turned 34 this month Ooh, but I got some stickers a dollar each Thought that was cool. Maybe if I sell one of their mugs later on, I'll throw it in. And the, the magnets were $3. So I got a magnet of the ranch style ramen and this cowboy guy. Got some more stickers. And you know I collect pins now. Donkatsu soup. I think that was 5 or $8. It's a parody on the Andy Warhol's Campbell soup. I had to get the ranch style ramen. ramen. Some people say ramen. It's wrong, I think. And this was $7.00. I've been wanting it to go with my little pin collection. I just love it now. Uh, they also have a golden tiki, which they are sold out of. I've been wanting it, but they threw these in. And Aaron, uh, yes, these are your things he ordered. Check them out at Pete's Treasures. But to win. They threw two, these in for each of us, which they didn't know there was two of us. So they must have known we're twins. We need the same things. I'm just kidding. But I can tell they probably made these and they decided they weren't up to standards because it's like cheap acrylic and yeah, some of them have like lots of scratches. And so I'm thinking they meant to produce these, but they didn't, weren't the best quality. So I love them. So yeah. And I, they, I had to get these Domo Alicato, you know, instead of 
gato. It's aligato, domo, instead of domo arigato. Anyways, these were $2 each. I had to get two of each. They're just so cool. I might put one on my car, and I haven't put any stickers on my car, but, like, I love this place so much. Like, I think I'll put the black one on the car. They also threw in Switzerland Coaster, and I just love how they have so much merch. They've been open for over a year now, and I think this was my fourth trip. So, yeah, can't recommend that company, but Tiki Tatsuya, I couldn't recommend them enough. Now, this was one of my holy grails. This came out for Texas Tiki Week 2022, and I've never been to Texas Tiki Week, but they were selling these for limited edition. I think they made 100 or so. It's made by Oak Wash. It's Water Burger, but it's Water Bob, and I barely have any Water, you know, Bob mugs, so I'm pretty sure I haven't shown y'all this yet in my other videos, but I missed out on it, and then I saw on eBay someone put it up for auction, and... Yeah, I got it for 113 total, including shipping. And I believe they used to be 125 So I think I got a deal, and I didn't have to leave the house to go pick it up. But yeah, I just had to because it was my holy grail. It's my birthday month. I treated myself. This is their swizzle. Also, Texas. Just love it. Texas Tiki Week. So I want to collect the other Texas Tiki Week mugs, and I missed out on an auction that had two other ones, but I'll get you my pretty. Oh, but I had to show you. It's just shaped like their cups or whatever, Texas Tiki Week. I watched this guy. I don't know if it's a one-guy production. Y'all can let me know if you know, but Oak Wash, he has a lot of cool other mugs, and they're really handcrafted, and that's why I'm also, I didn't mind paying that much because... You know, I could sell it for more, but also, you know, I, if you know me, I'm obsessed with Whataburger. So if I showed you this twice, please give me a thumbs up. I'm almost to 200 subscribers. Come on, I can get there. This was another mug. Yeah, I treated myself. Mr. Fugu, this was made by Pit, the Piz, and he died like in 2000, you know, like four or five years ago. But it came out in 2018. I want to say he died around like 2019 or 2018. But yeah, I love puffer fish. And there's not a lot of puffer fish mugs. They're, they're coming up with more. This was 58, including shipping. And the eBay seller was so nice. It was. He says he's very new and he was very communicative. I'm glad I bought it from him. I've seen the same mug. I got it for 58. It sells for like, it sold from 90 to 225. So I got it to hang on to it, but I'm going to list it maybe in, the, you know, a few years. I don't know. I hope I can get good money for it. That was kind of a thing I wanted. I want to start flipping mugs, and I have in the past. <clears throat> we'll talk about it in a second because I have one more. But yeah, uh, before I get to Black Lagoon Room, here's a Tiki Modern or Tiki Exotica Modern. Issue 18. These are selling for well. Uh, they normally cost about $14. And it's the best Tiki magazine around. Still in production. You know, they had another Tiki magazine that went defunct. But, yeah. You know, if I buy these for 14 they sell for like 25 But I'm going to keep them for a while. I have, like, I started collecting around like issue 8. So I, I have like a good amount of them. But yeah, the lower issues, definitely one and two, like, go for a lot more. I've been watching these on Amazon for over a year or two. And, yes, they are Libby. And they're based off the old Trader Vic's coupe glasses. But, yeah, they still look great. And they're 40 bucks, but I, my friend Scott got them, and he's getting into Tiki. And I'm like, oh, they're bigger than I thought, and they're kind of nice. I just like the shape. And I love coupe. When I go out for a nice cocktail, I like when they're served in coupe glasses. So I want to start doing that. But yeah, uh, he bought one that was like open box or damaged box. And it was barely damaged. So I did the same thing. And I got it for 35 including shipping. So four glasses for 35 Not bad considering they're not... They're, I like them. I don't, I don't have to, you know, peep, people might say no, but I say yes. And last but not least, oh my gosh, this is very highly sought after for a lot of Tiki people. And it's one of my favorite mug manufacturers. They're like Tiki Tatsuya, except, 
you know, they, every mug that you buy comes with a pin and swizzle. They, they love the collector and they know us collectors love the little things. And you've seen me get their drunky shrunkies. Ooh, I almost slurred. Drunky shrunkies. That's just hard to say, y'all. And you saw me get their ghost tiki mug. And also I have a th another one. Maybe not. Maybe the, just those two. But yeah, this is Creature from the Crab Rangoon instead of Black Lagoon. And they have a, a red spicy one and a blue one. I want the blue one and red one so badly. But these are the two new colors. Actually, the one that's supposed to, it says delivered, but it's not. The Wasabi one. Uh, I think that's their open edition that they have more of. But this is their yellow curry. So now I have two, but... I bought the wasabi one to flip because I think it's going to be less rare than this one, but some people sell them for like, so I bought them both for 173. So what? It was like almost 70 bucks each. No, they were 70 bucks each plus shipping and tax. Anyways, there are two parters and you know, they're hand painted. Oh, I just noticed those are holes and I better not slip up on this. But yeah, Black Lagoon Room, so cool. It's just very weird, and I love oddities, and I don't know, y'all. I might keep the other one, Monk Tiki. We love you. I just love that, and I, I wasn't realizing it would come with that sticker. So even better, I love me a sticker, although I don't like using them because, you know, I don't, I don't like anything enough to keep it forever, so I want to keep the sticker forever. Oh, these two-parters make me nervous, but they always come with recipe cards. I love mugs that come with recipe cards. You can screenshot to read that because my voice hurts, but... And they have cocktail recipes, wonton wahini. Wahini means, uh, I think pretty lady or pretty old lady. I don't know. In Hawaiian, but... Yeah, it's takeout, and I, I love crap rangoons. Hello? And you know what? They come with chopsticks and straws and I've had them come with these before but there's nothing special about them but I think it's just kind of fun I just learned but it's because I don't know but don't you love the merit badge I'm sad because the ghost one I don't have the enamel pin I gotta find it I'll find it one day oh I don't need to spend any more money but y'all this is my birthday treat to me I'm sure I'll have a few more but thanks for watching y'all are awesome I started making these haul videos to document what I get from my mom and my brother. And I like selling on eBay and collecting. So thanks for watching and I'm off for spring break. So I hope to edit one or two vlogs or I don't know. I'm putting it into existence. But peace, everybody. Please leave a like, comment, and tell a friend and share. I'd love to grow my channel. Bye-bye. Oh, and let me know. Sorry. Do you watch any of my shorts? Because those get like 400 views. And probably because people watch them a couple times. But I don't know. Maybe half the views were me. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, let me know if you ever watch my YouTube shorts. Because when I have like only five items, if I can get it in under a minute, I might as well do a short. Maybe it'll... I think what it does is gains traction. Easy to share. People have short attention spans like me. Like I love watching TikToks because they're short. But yeah, let me know if you ever watch one of my YouTube shorts.